City leaders are looking into the number of ethnic intimidation incidents in Pittsburgh. The numbers have remained steady over the past 10 years. But among the people most targeted, members of the black community. Pam Serrano has more from a local man who is the victim of a violent crime. He happens to be black and transgender. The pictures of Zaire Martinez's face following a brutal attack downtown are difficult for him to see and difficult to talk about while recalling what happened earlier this month. And it was um, a crowd of people. Zaire recalls walking into the Wood Street 7-Eleven just after 10 a.m. the morning of December 2nd when he was attacked. Targeted, he says, because he is black and a transgender male. The young man said, I will whoop that. And then came more attacks by someone else in the group. I mean, you could tell by my voice. So she called me a he, she. So she said, I'll throw co a coffee on this. Not only did someone throw coffee in his face, he was repeatedly punched and kicked. Zaire said the attack here lasted 10 minutes and that no one called 911, and it wasn't until he came outside that he found someone that could take him to the hospital. Nearly three quarters of all hate crimes committed across the city, according to newly released Pittsburgh police data, target minorities. 76% were based on race, 71% targeted African Americans. Zaire was able to get support from the Delta Foundation and Dina Stanley who also runs Trans Uniting. According to police data and victims advocates, hate crimes are hard for victims to report, but it's critical they do. Because that's what you're doing. You're standing up for the injustices and letting them know that I'm not the one for this and this should not happen to me and you're not going to do this to anybody else. Zaire says even filing a police report was difficult. He got mixed signals about which zone to go to, but the public information officer for the city says the case is under investigation and any zone can take a report. It's imperative also to call 911 and also to reach out to groups like the Delta Foundation. 7-Eleven tells us they are very concerned about the incident and they don't condone this this kind of behavior. Right now, however, there are no arrests in Zaire's attack. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.